Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your strength and conditioning boot camp workout. Today's workout is also going to be very low impact in terms of cardio, so there's no jumping today. But keep in mind, just because this is low impact does not mean it is low intensity. It will challenge you. What you're going to need today, a few things. You're going to need your mat. You're going to need a set of dumbbells, preferably two, a lighter set and a heavier set lighter set right around five to 10 pounds, heavier set I'm recommending 15 pounds and above. Everyone is different with their weight selection though. Something to hydrate with. We will also need a bench. We're gonna be bracing against this bench. We'll be stepping on it as well. If you don't have a bench, don't worry about it. I'll give an option in the corner above, just look for it. You will also need a mini band or a fabric band. We will be beginning our first block with this. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. We have seven blocks today and we'll only be using this for the first one. So here's how it's going down. We have seven blocks. Each block will focus on a different muscle group. Two strength exercises per blocks. We'll do it for three rounds before we hit a cardio burst. That's usually two minutes long. All right, so we're gonna begin with a warm up. Grab all your stuff and then meet me back on your mat. Quick warm up. We're just gonna get nice, loose and ready before we begin. So inhale, tap the right toe, reach the right arm long, and then bring it back in. Just alternate side to side. Inhale throughout that rib cage, fill it up, 360 breath. Exhale, draw it up and in. This warm up's gonna be fairly short, so if you need more of a warm up, feel free to take it. Everyone's different. Even though we're reaching up, shoulders down and away from the ears. We have eight and six, we go to butt kicks. Four, three, two, one. Now side sway it side to side, but keep your hips level. Dorsiflex at the ankle, your butt is your target. Arms out to the side. Now start to squeeze the upper back. You're not thrusting the belly forward, just getting those back muscles nice and warm. We have eight and six, we go to high knees. Four, three, two, now drive it up. Little crunch as we bring it in. Add the arms, go as slow as you want. Big deep inhale, big deep exhale. Last eight and six, we take it to some mini squats. Last two, last one. Now squat it down, drive through the heels. Halfway down, drive through the heels. Make sure your knees are caving in. They're directly over the ankles. Adjust your feet accordingly. We should feel this in the hamstrings and the glutes. Hinging from the knees and the hips. A few more like this. We have eight, seven, and six. We go to those side reaches. Last four, three, two, we're doing that one more time. Side reach it, tap it up and over. Are you ready for today? All right, this is gonna be a good one. Keep that breath. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But kick it side to side. Hips are level, brace the core, slight lean forward. Elbows out, now squeeze, squeeze the upper back. Little pulses, elbows high. We have eight and six, we go to high knees. Four, three, two, high knees, left and right. Left and right, final round of this warm up, and then we get to the good stuff. Eight more, six, four, three, two, mini squats. Halfway down, drive it up. Heavy into heels. Drive it up. Chest is lifted. Exhale as you drive. Eight more. And seven, we're done with this warm up. Six, five, last four, three, two, and one. All right, grab one heavy weight. You can always change it to a light weight if needed. What we have coming your way. This block targets the glutes. We have hip thrusts for 12. After 12, we'll get rid of the dumbbell 
and we'll hold that hip thrust and abduct. So we'll press into the band. We have three rounds of that. So you're grabbing your band, latex or fabric, whatever you have, slide it onto the quads. High band position. All right, so from here, your height of the bench is gonna be different. My bench is probably around 20, 22 inches tall. So I have to press kind of the bottom of my shoulder blades on to the bench. I'm pressing down and back into it. If you're using a chair, make sure the back is up against the wall. Okay, let's take a practice round first before we grab the, the weight. So we're driving into the band. You're abducting already. The glutes are already fired up from here. Posterior tilt of the pelvis. Drive through the heels. Hips are below the rib cage. You're looking straight forward. Hard squeeze of the glutes. You're still pressing into the band. It should be on fire. You got it. We have 12 of those. After 12, we set the dumbbell down and we abduct for 20. Here we go. Grab your heavy weight if we can. I'm grabbing a 20. Here we go. Posterior tilt. Drive through the heel. Bring it down. 12 total. That was one. Posterior. Drive through the heels. Big squeeze of the glutes. Control it down. Press into the band. Posterior. Drive it up and squeeze. Inhale. Exhale as you drive. Keep this up. We have six more just like this. Always pressing into the band. If you're not pressing into the band, we don't even need it. Last four. Three. Two. One, let's release the weight. You could always keep it there for an extra challenge. Now we drive into the band. We abduct for 20. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Grab a hold of that dumbbell. We're placing it back on the hips. Let's bring it down, reset. Drive into the band, posterior tilt, inhale, exhale. Drive it up, we have 12, that's one. Exhale to drive. Big squeeze up. This is my favorite glute exercise ever. Big squeeze at the top. Oh, we have six more. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top. You can keep that weight on or set it down. Just be very careful setting it down. Now from here, press into the band. We have 20 abductions. Let's go. We drive it out, out. It's going to burn. Keep those glutes up and keep this tempo. Here's our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab that weight, place it back onto the hips. If it wasn't there, we go down. Final round, 12 total. Posterior tilt, drive through the heels. Big squeeze up, you're driving into the band too. Then we bring it down. So as we bring it up, we're already pressing into the band. This band will provide better glute engagement and activation. Works the glutes a little bit more. Come on, this is your final round of these hip thrusts. Six more, you got it. Exhale to drive. That band is there for a reason, press into it. Here's two more. Drive it up, last one. All right, I'm keeping the weight here this time. We have ducks for 20, let's go. Oh, it is burning, do not drop. Here's our last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set, set it down, set yourself down. All right, we're going to our cardio circuit. We have lateral band walks. So we're right here, we set four to the right, four to the left, always keep tension on the, onto the band. We go in three, two, one, one minute. Hips are level, 
Notice when I step in, I'm keeping tension on the band, so I'm not letting the legs touch. If I do that, my band will start to roll up. And if you have this fabric band on, those fabric bands are more challenging. They provide greater resistance. So this, you, you may be able to take smaller steps and still get that great activation and engagement. Keep this up. 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Once we're done with this, we go straight into monster walks. I'll show you what that is when we get to it. Hips are level, brace the core. Last 10. Monster walks will drive into the band as we step it forward. Last four, three, two. Now hold, we drive it up. Three, two, one. Go back. Four, three, two, one. So you're driving into the band as we step it forward. Again, not letting the feet touch. Four, three, two. Watch out for your weights. Four, three, two, one. Try not to rotate the hips. So try to keep them square. That'll challenge your core more. It's up. Three, two, one. Go back. Four, three, two, one. Different angle. Halfway through. Go back. Four, three, two. Heavy in that heel. It's burning. Fight through this burn. Four, three, two, 10 more seconds. Go back, then we're done. Two and one, great job, shake it out. All right, next block is our push block. We are going to focus on the chest and the triceps. Go ahead, take that band off, we are done with it. All right, so I'm going to move my bench just so you can see me a little bit better. While you take a small recovery, I'm gonna demo what's next. Triceps and chest, this is your push block. Uh, grab your lighter set of dumbbells. Everyone's a little bit different, but uh, these triceps, it's a smaller muscle group. So line tricep extensions for 20, we're all the way back, palms go together. From here, we hinge at the elbows, take the dumbbells to the outside of the temple, and then we bring it up. These are also known as skull crushers for the various reasons. So we gotta be very careful bringing them down, kitchen in the triceps, and then drive it on the way up. So we have those for 12. Following that, we have 20 chest flies. We go around the beach ball. So slight hinge in the elbows, and then we squeeze the chest in the front of the delts to drive it back in. So we go around that beach ball, and then we drive it in. We have 20 of those. That's why I'm recommending a lighter set of weights. So go ahead. Now, if you have a very lordotic spine, or if you have any separation in the abdominals, this is lighter weight. So feel free to bring your legs up like so. You can also do this on the ground as well as an option. So grab your lighter weights. We're going. You're laying down right now. We have 12 tricep extensions. Let's go. Inhale, exhale to drive. Feel the tension in the triceps. Drive it up. Dumbbells to the outside of the head. Protect that noggin. We don't, we don't want anyone ever, ever going uh, to a hospital over a workout. So be very mindful of this, especially right now, COVID times. Drive it up. You can do this. You're capable. Four more. Last four. Three. Two. One. Hold at the top. Go around that beach ball. Chest flies for 20. Big squeeze up. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drive it up. At your own pace, high repetitions. This is going to be pretty challenging, but we want this to be challenging. If we leave like 10 reps left in the tank, we're not doing much to change and strengthen your muscles. I personally like to leave no more than three reps left in the tank, even starting out, and then it'll be more challenging as we go. Last 10. Nine, eight, come on, seven more, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Here we go. Tricep extensions, 
hinge at the elbows, dumbbells to the outside of the head, and then we drive it up. 12 total, that was one. 10. Nine. Exhale as we go up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold at the top. We go around that beach ball. Chest flies for 20. Inhale. Exhale. Pull, push it in. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. Keep this tempo. The longer your arms are, the more challenging it is. So if you have a really uh, heavy bend in those elbows, it'll be less challenging. It'll be more like a chest press. Okay, 10 more. Last 10. Honor your range of motion as well. Never go past your individual range of motion. Exhale, squeeze it in. Come on, here's our last. Five, four, three, two. All right, it's starting to feel pretty challenging. Last one, tricep extensions, final round. We have 12. Keep your form perfect. Exhale, push it up. Come on, eight more. Last eight. Drive it up. Seven. Six. Five more. Last four. Three. Two. One. Hold it up. This is it. 20 chest flies. Let's go. Exhale. Push and squeeze on the way in. Hug it in. This works the front of the delts, front of the shoulders, and the chest. We're gonna really have to push through these last 10. Let's go, come on, 10 more. Keep the form perfect. Nine, you got it. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, this is where it really counts. Last four, three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down, roll it on up. We have a little cardio circuit coming up. One minute per exercise, two minutes total. First one, incline mountain climbers. So we're right here. We're on your bench. You can always do it on the ground. Knee to the chest. Keep your shoulders stacked over the wrist. We go. Get into position in three, two, one. Let's go. Top of the head reaches forward. Push through the palms. Engage the core. So if you have a slight roundness of the upper spine, that's okay. This, you cannot engage your core like this. Right here, you can. Feel the difference, try it out. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. Halfway through. Engage those abs, come on, last 15 seconds. After this, we have a modified incline burpee to tricep push up. Just watch me on the first one and then join. Here we go, in three, two, one, hold. Push up, elbows in. We step it in, rise, and then step it right back out, let's go. Tricep push up, step it up, lower down. Elbows in tight. Elbows in tight to the body. Feeling it in the chest and the triceps. Inhale, exhale to push. Keep your body super tight, just like a surfboard. It's not breaking at the hips when we go back. We're over halfway through. After this, we get a recovery. Last 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one more rep, two, and one. Great job. Take a recovery. I'm going to flip my bench back around, grab a drink of water. Your next block will target the hamstrings and those glutes a little bit more. It may hit the quads too, but hamstrings are the main focus. So grab your heavy weights. Here's what's coming up. We have reverse lunges, 12 total. We will alternate. So only six each side. Ground through one foot, heavy in the heel. We step it back and then we drive it in other side. Heavy in the heel, knee behind the toe, drive it in. Now after we hit 12 total, we will widen the stance, palms go together, heels in, toes out. From here, we will hinge down, chest is still lifted, drive through the heel. Sumo squats, we'll have 20 of those. Three rounds total, grab your heavy weights. If you need to go lighter, please go lighter, but we want this to feel challenging. Here we go. 12 total reverse lunges, we go in three, two, one. We alternate, one at a time, take it slow. Drive through the heel. Widen the stance, your base if needed. So instead of standing on that balance beam, stand on those railroad tracks. Come on, we have six more. Last four. Three. Two. One. Heels and toes out, palms together. Here we go. 20 sumo squats. Drive through the heels. Inhale, exhale, drive it up. Keep constant tension on those hamstrings. So we're not extending the legs fully at the top. Slight bend, even at the top. Hamstrings are on fire, what about yours? Halfway through, 10 more. Last, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Reverse lunges, here we go, 12 total. Drive through the heel to bring it up. A slight hinge forward of the upper body may target your hamstrings a little bit better. It does for my body. Come on, six more, last six, five, four. Three, two, one. Heels and toes out. We're not locking at the top. Constant tension in the hamstrings. 20, let's go. Drive through the heel. This would be locking it all the way out. I'm keeping a soft knee. Inhale, exhale to drive. Keep this tempo. Knees are staying behind the toes. Protect your knees. They're not caving in either. Wow, my accent just really came out. 10 more like this, come on. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Final set, reverse lunges, we go for 12. Drive through the heel to bring it up. After this round, we get to set those dumbbells down. If ever you need to drop it to body weight, do it. But if we can, we're finishing out strong. Four more. Last four. Three. Two. One. Final round. Sumo squats, constant tension in the hamstrings. Heels and toes out. 20 total, let's go. Perfect quality form. If you need to go fewer reps, in order to achieve that, that's fine. Bilateral, both legs, higher rep count. Tension in the hamstrings at the top. Come on, fight for every single rep. Here's our last 10. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, come on, last five, four, three, 
two, one. Set those dumbbells down. We go to step ups. If you don't have a bench, look for the option in the corner. One minute step ups, right leg plants. We drive the knee to the chest in three, two, one. Drive through the heel, knee goes up. Drive through the heel, knee goes up. You can always just tap it and then bring it up. But if we can, we're gonna get those abs working. Look at my foot, it rocks back and forth. Driving through the heel on the way up. Opposite knee really drives in. Slight hinge forward so we can get those abs engaged. Over halfway through. You can always use a wall to brace yourself as well. Come on, 15 seconds. Keep driving through that heel. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Then we switch sides, four, three, two. Switch sides, we're going right into it. Ground through the left foot. Whew. If you drove the knee up on the other side, do it on this side as well. Don't use that assisting leg. It's all on the left. One side will probably feel more challenging than the other. Exhale to drive. Come on, 30 seconds. Final 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Awesome work. All right, grab that drink of water. Next up, we're hitting biceps and back. So this is your pool block. What we have coming your way. Grab your heavier sets of dumbbells. So here's what's coming up. We have bicep curl, supinated grip for 12. Just like this. After we hit 12, then we will hinge forward, rotate to a pronated grip, palms face in, elbows will then go high and wide, squeeze the upper back, control it on the way down. 20 high rows, why? Because your back is a bigger, and stronger muscle group than your biceps, so we have to increase the weight. If we're holding on to that same weight, grab a drink of water, grab your weights, we're gonna go soon. All right, grab those heavy weights. No legs uh, so far in this block. So supinated grip, palms face me, slight bend in the knees, it's all in the biceps. If you find yourself using the hips, go lighter. All right, here we go. 12 total, let's go. Big squeeze of those biceps, control on the way down. Take your time with these. Come on, six more. Last six. Five, four, three, two, one. Flip the grip, pronated grip, hinge from the hips, flat back. We go high rows for 20. Elbows high and wide. Squeeze that upper back. Looking straight down. No bouncing. Last 10. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up, fix my glasses. Here we go, supinated grip, bicep curls. We have 12 total. Let's go. Control it. No swing in that lower body. If you do alternate one at a time, that's okay. Come on, six more. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pronated grip. We hinge. 20 high rows. Let's go. Big squeeze of that upper back. Elbows flare out. Come 
Come on, you got this. 10 more. Last 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. All right. Here we go. Final round of bicep curls if you need to. Alternate one at a time. We have 12 total. Let's go. Supinated grip. Control it down. No swing in those hips. You can always go right, then left to finish out. Exhale, bring it up. Halfway through. Here's our last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, flip the grip. Here we go, high rows. Hinge from the hips, final 20, then we set those dumbbells down. Let's get right into it. Big squeeze of that upper back. Don't let the dumbbells bang together at the bottom. Control it down. Here's your last 10, come on. We have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, set those dumbbells down. Okay, Woo. caught my glasses. We have butt kicks with the rear delt squeezes. Do not let the belly extend forward. We go in three, two, one, butt kicks. We did this as the warm up, but now we're increasing the tempo. And after that combo that we just did, this is going to burn. So I'll move my mic. Belly staying out of it. Getting the cardio up, driving the heel in, and we are squeezing the upper back. What I don't wanna see is this. We want to engage the abs, and to do that, we have to keep it still. Maybe even a slight lean forward. Keep it up. Elbows are high. I fix my mic again. Ooh. My upper back's on fire. Okay, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna continue this. You're really gonna hate me. We have lat pull down pulses. So we'll just flip the grip, field goal position, and continue it. But this time with high knees, we go in three, two, one. High knees. Press the backs of the palms into the wall. And you're driving it down. Elbows slightly behind the rib cage, pulling the lat muscles down. You don't know how bad I want to let my hands just fall right now. Don't let it. Again, not overextending at the belly. Just pulling the lats, engaging the abs. We are halfway through. 30 more seconds. I'm dripping sweat. Woo, come on. Keep pressing into the back of the room. I know it's burning. Keep this tempo, final 15. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Recovery, all right. <laughs> that one was tough, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Now, <laughs> we're getting into some quads, all right. This is where you really are going to curse my name, but I need to make sure you get the form right. So we're grabbing just one heavy dumbbell. Now you can grab two if you want, but I'm gonna give you the option to really brace yourself uh, against a wall. So I'll give the option up in the corner if you don't have the bench. We have Bulgarian split squats for 12. Immediately after 12, we'll release the weight and do 20 body weights on the ground. So here's what it's gonna look like. Left foot goes on the bench. I like to keep my foot plantar flex. You may like a dorsi flex, but that bothers my hip. Square off the hips, slightly lean forward from here. We bring it down, knee behind the toe, drive through the heel. We have 12 like this. You can use this opposite hand to brace yourself against something. You don't have to. After that, we set down the weight and we continue with regular split squats for 20. And that's it. Then we got to do the left. This time, since we're doing unilateral on both sides for both exercises, we'll do two rounds on each side. So kind of like four rounds total. Grab that drink, we're gonna get going. 
All right, we are over halfway through. This is block number five, targeting, targeting the legs, specifically more so the quads. So the weight is in the left hand, brace yourself with this right foot, square off the hips, then we bring it back. Again, I like to keep my foot plantar flex. Let's find that ending range motion, adjust the front foot as needed. Don't let the knee slide past the toes. Square off the hips, take a big deep inhale. We go for 12. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set that dumbbell down, replant, right foot forward, left foot back. We go right into it, split squats, 20. Little drop set burnout. Last 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Step it in, shake it out. All right, we're going into that other side. Use the legs to grab that dumbbell. Okay, so you're gonna have to flip your chair, or flip your bench if you wanna brace yourself against something. Uh, I'm not, so right hand has that dumbbell. Left foot plants, right foot goes back. Balance yourself, adjust the front foot as needed. Here we go, get into position. We have 12 total, keep the core tight, let's go. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Set that dumbbell down, left foot forward, right foot back. Go into it, 20 total. Keep this pace. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Check it out. Ho, 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 ho. All right, we're doing that one more time. Then we're done with these. These are tough. If you need to, remember I showed the option at the beginning of the block, you can take it. Here we go. Grab that dumbbell into the left hand. Right foot goes forward, left foot is elevated. Brace yourself with the right hand. If you want, you don't have to. Square off the hips, knee behind the toe. We go for 12, drag through the heel. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it forward, dumbbell goes down, right foot forward, left foot back, 20 split squats for your burnout. Oh my goodness. Don't stop, we gotta keep going. Here's our last, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Check it out. We have to do the other side, then we're done. All right. These are tough. They suck. They're good for you and me and everyone. Deep breath. Compose ourselves. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. Here we go. Left foot forward, right foot back. Dumbbell in the right hand, 12 then 20, final round, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set that dumbbell down. We go right into it. 20 on the left, let's go. I know it's gonna burn. Fight for every single rep. Do not stop. I know you can do this. We're in this together. Come on. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Cardio. Two minutes. Side to side squats with calf raise. So <laughs> we're right here. We step it out to the right. 
one squat, we come together, heels up, squeeze the calves, heels down, then to the left. Calves, squat, calves, squat. Deep breath, we go. In three, two, one. One minute. Heels up, release the heels. Heels up, release the heels. Calves, legs. This is our only dedicated calf exercise today. So really, squeeze the calves on the way up. Halfway, 30 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Last five, four, three, two, hold an air squat. We tap it right, left, iso squat, lateral taps. Heavy in the heels, but when we tap, we tap the toe. Hips are level. You really have to use the core, brace it, in order to keep those hips level. So we don't want this, it's tight. After this, we get a recovery and we'll have two more blocks left, that's it. We are halfway through, final 30 seconds. Keep this tempo, final 15. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I get a little faster than the clock. Coming up next, we have two blocks left. Shoulders and then abs and cardio. Next up, shoulders. We gotta get this out of the way. You will need your light set of dumbbells. Okay, light set of dumbbells from here. We have 12 fret raises with your light dumbbells. Slight hands forward, no bouncing. We bring it eye level, not, excuse me, shoulder level, and then control it down. After we hit 12 of those, we hold it up and we shoulder press with these light weights for 20. High volume on those shoulder presses. All right, I gotta wipe the sweat out of my eyes, grab a drink of water, we'll get going. Grab your dumbbell, second to last block of the day. And it is a block dedicated to those beautiful shoulders. Front raises for 12, shoulder presses for 20. Three rounds. Slight hit, bend in the knees, let's go. Do not use that lower body. In front of the delts right here. Control it, don't hunch up, none of that. Keep them down. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way up, field goal position. 20 shoulder presses, let's go. Don't bang the dumbbells at the top, even using the lats on the way down. Control it. Halfway through, 10 more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Roll the shoulders back. Here we go. Front raises for 12. Let's go. No swinging. With control. If you need to, drop the dumbbells. You can do body weight. Grab something lighter. Grab some water bottles. Whew. Last six. Six, five, four, Three, two, one. Bring it up, field goal position. 20 total, lighter weights. Here we go. This is humbling, high reps, high volume, lighter weights, last 10. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Roll those shoulders back. If you need to, you can alternate. If we can, we're keeping bilateral. Let's go. 12 final front raises. Make them perfect. Control it on the way down. It's not about how fast we can get this done. Make every rep quality. If you need to take a little break, take it. Then get right back into it when you're ready. We're halfway through, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, final round of shoulder presses. Bring them up. Here we go, 20 total. Do not let that belly dip forward, we go. Stay strong, rep it out, fight through the spurn. They're feeling like 35s, but they're not. <laughs> they're pretty light. Here's our last. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Exhale to drive. Five, four, three, two, one. Set those dumbbells down. Okay, here's where you really hate me. You can take the option if needed. We have one minute high to low plank. It works the shoulders. We're gonna cry by the end of this. After that side plank rotation, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they are. So we're right here working on anti-rotation of the hips as we bring it one forearm at a time, right, left, right, left, and go left, right, left, right. After that, to the forearms, we rotate side planks for one minute. Here we go, take a big deep breath, fix my mic. Get into position, we're in that high plank. We go high to low plank, one minute in three, two, one. Belly button's drawing up and in, keep the hips level. If you need to, drop it to the knees. But if we can, we're staying right here. It goes right, left, right, left. Then we switch, left, right, left, right. Keep alternating every single time. We're halfway through. We have 30 more seconds. Widen your feet. It'll make it more attainable. Final 15. Last one. All right, hold it on the floor, forearms, side to side plank rotations. We go to the right, lift that right arm up, rotate it to center, rotate it to the left. We're doing this one minute, slow and controlled. Inhale, exhale to extend. Keep the shoulders over the elbows. This is gonna burn. Bring it to the knees if you need to. Final 30 seconds. After this, it's our final block and we're working on those abs. Come on. Stay strong. Hips are level. Core is engaged. Bottom hip is up. Last. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, final block of the day. Gonna move my mic again. It's abs, but this block, we're gonna end with more cardio. We have three rounds of abs. It goes dumbbell crunch, reverse crunch, and then we will we'll have three rounds, five minutes of cardio with a special treat at the end. So we're grabbing one weight. It's up to you. I'm gonna use my ladder dumbbell. So we're coming all the way down to the ground. From here, set the dumbbell on the chest. Small range of motion with both of these movements. We bring it up, to move my mic again. Squeeze the abs right here. Control it on the way down. Squeeze, draw that deep belly button up and in, control it down. Twelve of those. Then we go to reverse crunches. Small range of motion, working the lower abs. Twelve, then twenty. You don't have to use this dumbbell. You can keep the hands behind the head if needed. Let's go in three, two, one. Twelve total. 
big squeeze at the top. I have to remove my glasses because they are fogging up. Squeeze it. Draw it up and in. Hollow it out on the exhale. Six more. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release the dumbbell. Lower abs for 20. Knees go in. We tap. Small range of motion. I want you to control it on the way down. Keep the TBA activated. Draw it up and in. Small range of motion, greater engagement, greater activation. Halfway through, 10 more. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that dumbbell, place it on the chest. 12 dumbbell crunches, let's go. Hollow it out on the exhale. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, don't lead with the head. Three, engage those abs. Two, one, set it down. The head just follows. Here we go, 20 reverse crunches. If you have a really lordotic spine, keep drawing the low back into the mat. Keep that breath, don't hold it. Halfway, 10 more. Here's our last. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, final round. Grab that dumbbell. Then we're done with this dumbbell for the day. Here we go, 12 total. The abs are engaging the movement, the head just follows up. If you lead with the head, it will hurt the neck. Don't do that. Here we go, final six. We got this, five, four, three, two, one, set that dumbbell down. Final, 20 reverse crunches, let's go. Then we have a cardio burst. Keep this tempo. Here's our last. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Roll over onto the left side. Bring it up. We have five minutes of cardio. Here we go. We go right to left repeaters. I'm going to give you a demo first. Repeaters, ground through the left. We draw the knee in. Left side plants, right side moves. We go in three, two, one. Final five minutes. Getting that heart rate up. Low impact cardio. Nice long line with the body. Drive the knee in. Think about a little mini crunch. So we're still working the abs with this cardio. Keep this tempo. That standing leg may start to feel on fire. 30 more seconds. Engage those abs. TVA engage, come on. Final 15. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides, right foot plants, left leg moves. Let's go, right into it. No breaks. Little mini crunches in. Get those abs to fire up. Good 
Keep this tempo, final 30. Final 15 seconds. Last eight, seven, six, and we hold a lateral lunge. Four, three, two, one. Bring it forward. Lunge it side to side. Lateral lunges. All right. Let's get it. Get the feeling side to side. Drive through the heels. Engage the abs. Now we add the punches. Opposite arm, opposite leg. We can start to pick it up and get that heart rate up. Final 30. Here we go now. Come on, keep this tempo. Almost there. Final 15 seconds. And then we go to side repeaters. So it'll be just like that repeater we just did, but we're gonna stay in this position, draw the right leg in at an angle. It'll really fire up those abs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ground through the left foot, right knee goes in. At an angle, really twist from those abs. Final two minutes. We're here for one. Then we hit that other side for your, for your final. 60 seconds of cardio. Twist. Working the waistline as we twist. Engage those abs. Slight tap. Final 30 seconds. Final 15, then we switch sides. Last three, two, one. Switch sides, right foot grounds, left leg moves. We go. Minute here, Woo, catch your balance. Then we go. Big squeeze. You should feel your abs. Do a lot of work right here as we get those heart rates up. Here's our final 30 seconds. Final 30 seconds of cardio. Then we're gonna find a wall for your final minute. Fifteen seconds. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Find a wall, get into position. Wall squats. We have fifteen seconds before we go. Press the low back into the wall. Hips are neutral. We're getting low. We're holding. We're squeezing. Let's go ahead and get low. Clock will start. And. Four, three, two, one. If you don't have a wall, you're hovering your butt off of that bench. ISO squat hold. Get low. Don't do this like I was just doing. Hands right here. Wiggle those toes. Get lower. This is where we're ending. It's burning. Final 30 seconds, one inch lower. Draw that deep belly button up and in, hips are level, legs are on fire. Just hold it, not the breath, just this pose. Final 15 seconds, then we are done for good. Don't come out of it just yet. Final 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, press off against that wall. Shake it out. One, we're done. Let's stretch it out. Then I'll send you along your merry way. 
All right, left foot goes to the bench or on the ground, square off the hips, inhale, exhale, draw it forward. You can do the same thing on the floor. This just intensifies the stretch and I hinge less. I do less work, feel a greater stretch. You can always keep it on the floor. Big deep inhale, exhale, come out of it. Let's start to hinge it forward, feeling it in that right hip. Again, you can do this on the ground, but I wanna stay nice and, and up. And let's come out of it. Whew. All right, keep that left leg planted. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. And bring it down again. You can do this on the ground. Let's switch sides. Whew. Right foot up, square up the hips. Inhale, exhale, feel nice. Stretch along that right leg. Start to slow the breath down. Great job today. Inhale, bring it up. Hinge it forward. Feeling it along the front of the left hip. Let's push it back. A little side body stretch. Left arm reaches up and over. And release. All right, let's get that upper body. Cross the right arm over. Big deep inhale, and then as we exhale, release left ear, left shoulder, feeling it along the shoulder in the trap. Oh. And let's switch sides, inhale to switch. Exhale, release. All right, now we're gonna take it down to the ground. Inhale, arms reach up. As we exhale, hinge forward until we can come all the way down. Nice hamstring stretch. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand. Little ragdoll pose, side to side sway. Really starting to feel the spine lengthen. I feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and calves. Bring all swing to a stop. Bend the knees so much so that you can plant the palms. Step those legs back and just bring it to a downward facing dog. Drive the chest towards the quads, really opening up the back and the chest. Big deep inhale, as we exhale, look forward, come into a tabletop position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees, reach the hands forward when you can reach them no more. Release it down for a puppy pose, opening up the chest. When you're ready, bring the hands to frame the face, slowly push off into that tabletop position. Walk the hands forward, release the chest down. Inhale, baby cobra, press against the tops of the feet. Chest lifts, heart reaches forward. Exhale, draw it down once more like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This time, inhale, fully extend the arms if we can. Exhale, release through those abdominals. Right hip goes down, look over the left shoulder. Back to center, left hip down, look over the right shoulder. Big deep inhale forward, then as we exhale, send it back, child's pose. This is where we are ending today. Feel free to stay there as long as you need to. Gosh, I need some new glasses. All right, so just because that is low impact on the cardio does not mean that it is low intensity. We just didn't jump today. I wanted to give our joints a nice little recovery. I prefer walking as my cardio. So whenever I do high impact stuff, it takes my body a long time to recover. This low impact cardio, my body can recover. But on the weights, we were pushing it today. If you felt like after that third round, you could have done like 10 more reps, you need to go heavier. We never wanna leave more than three reps left in the tank, meaning maybe we could do three more reps, maybe not. Maybe we're pushing it a little close to failure, but the more we push ourselves, the greater response uh, we will get. So the stronger we will get. Anyway, enough of me talking. Great job today. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you later.